What's up everybody, I'm CC441. Welcome to my new living room comedy show. Guest starting tonight, Groovy Grace. And my man, Philly Pete. Check me out, check me out, check me out. She has some real therapy for all the cat lovers in the house. When I was a little boy, we had cats that looked like they fought on the Gaza Strip. One eye, tail gone, mangy, teeth missing. Those cats were so tough, they sucked the tick's blood. My mama liked Battlefield cats because she could make a business relationship with them. My mama would be like, now Mr. Cat, you can stay, but I ain't gonna feed you. It's a whole bunch of food just running around this house that you can eat. Cats are respectable too because their shit's so stanky. They bury it. They be like, oh no, we'll put them over there. Put something over there. Oh no. Let's put it together, y'all, for Groovy Grace. Who's ever been in therapy before? For any reason, you know. And it's not necessarily from shitty parenting, but hey, sometimes it's unwanted trauma, right? You didn't ask for it. You just, you know, went through it. A freaking dog was trying to bite you. And all of a sudden, now you have PTSD. Well, I think that we should have cat therapy because I love my cats. Yes, I said cat therapy because I somehow inherited four cats and they all have freaking big issues. I mean, personality disorder and depression, name it. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you, I went on a trip, when I came back, my younger cat, female, went through depression because I love my cats. She didn't wanna get out of the closet. She didn't wanna eat. She didn't wanna play with my pet sitter. And it was sad. It was bad because I love my cats. Okay. Just gonna, just gonna be honest, I've been in freaking therapy for the past four freaking years. I think that cats should have the same options. When I came back, I'm thinking, okay, what can I do to make this easy for you, baby? Because I love my cats. He didn't stop there. Now she has even problems bigger than just the, the, the depression. Because I think I kind of got a little bit better as I'm around her more, you know, making her feel not abandoned and lonely and that kind of thing. Because I love my cats. But I think another one of my cats that has the eating disorder because if you've ever been next to one, let's say a bitch. Has eating disorder, she's always hungry. So, so I love my cats. So, what did a hungry person do? They have anger issues, right? They show up out of nowhere, you know, they're just angry all the time and they can't figure it out. They cannot tell why. Well, this cat, I think, that has eating disorders, yeah, bulimia. Believe me, she overeats, overindulges, and then guess what? goes and pukes. And who has to clean it up? Well, me, because I love my cats. Uh, you know, it doesn't stop there. She's a bully, so she goes with the one that now is no longer depressed, but somehow is overleaking herself to compensate for whatever trauma she's feeling or going through. She's been bullied by this, you know, the eating bulimic disorder girl, because I love my cats. Now she's overleaking herself. It got to the point where almost no fur on her rear leg. And guess what? When my daughter sees her, she goes, come here, you chicken legs. So I love my cat. Now he say he's a pimp, y'all. But I know the truth. He ain't nothing but a let's make a deal pimp. He can't get nothing done without a whole bunch of give and take from his hoes. I saw him down on Martin Luther King Boulevard talking about some Lucretia, where my money at? I saw you get out the car with that man. Don't you lie to me now. I know him. He's a digging down at the church. Now, Lucretia, I'm the pimp, not you. Now, tell me, how much money do you want to give me out of that transaction? Let's make a deal. Let's give it up for my boy, Philly Pete. Tell me, how long you been black? About two weeks. Still ain't the white woman or robbed the liquor store yet, though, but I saw my agenda. That's the next thing coming. <laughs> Why did you walk up?
Why in the party you got clothes on? You walking around with a monkey robe on and shit. What the what your chest here is hanging out like you got Don King in the head. <laughs> Put your hands together one more time for Grace and Pete, and hopefully next time I can put you on. <laughs>